Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Set on Playing Dark Souls 3 The Weapon Playthroughs. Last episode we did uh, Arch Dragon Peak, and we also decided to do half of, well half. I decided to do my run, my first run through uh, Ashes of Ariandel, and today we're going to go and finish Ashes of Ariandel. First by going down here and taking care of the Champion Grave Thunder, there we go. And after we're done with this, we're going to go around to the Corvian village and straight over to Freed. And if I'm... well, I wouldn't say if I'm lucky. <laughs> Probably by the next episode, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be getting myself my final halberd. <clears throat> my god. The final halberd that I still need to go and collect. Which is pretty freaking, co pretty freaking cool, though. I haven't had too many issues getting the weapons in this playthrough. I'm really happy about that. Because, uh, yeah. That is something that can be a little bit of a pain in the arse. <laughs> From time to time. There we go. Kind of unfortunate that I didn't manage to use the javelers. Uh, the javelers throwing. Wow, no. <laughs> uh, the followers javelin. Oh boy. Jeez, I almost fell off. <laughs> but yeah. That was a strength weapon in a playthrough where I was focused on quality, I think, or something. It just wasn't as damaging as the rest. And spears are trash anyway, so... Well, trash. They're... I don't like them in any case. That's all I can say. Low damage, a lot of stamina usage leaves you open quite a lot. As is, and it's just in general, in my opinion, not good. Doesn't mean I hate it, this doesn't mean that I hate people who use it. I just don't like using them. Alright, so I'm interested to see how this is gonna go, because... This could go... A lot of different ways. Alright, so he's gonna get up in his really cool way, even though he's not cool at all. Uh, <laughs> not sure if you know this, but I really don't like this boss. <laughs> I like the Great Wolf. I think he's a pretty cool enemy. But this part of the battle is stupid. Force PvP is just stupid. Oh. I thought my shield could, but that was wrong. There we go. You know what? I kind of miss the days of using daggers to repost. Because it was fun. There we have the Grave Tender, Grave Wolf. A Grave Wolf? Yeah, no, Grave Wolf. Can I please kill you? Thank you. Can I please kill you? Well... <laughs> that was a pretty good shot in the head. If you hit this wolf enough in the head, he'll be able to stun him and do a critical attack. FYI. So if you can, I would definitely suggest trying to get him in here. Some weapons are... Like with some weapons it's a lot easier to do than with other ones, of course. There we go. Sayonara! Nice. Awesome. A successful run against the champion Grave Tender is a joyous day for me. How many souls did I get? Ooh. That's a lot of him. And I can probably get invaded and lose him. So I'd rather just spend one leveling up. Since leveling up is quite useful. <laughs> Let me go and fill in my glass of soda. It's kind of interesting though, the amount of soda that I drink. <laughs> Well, you know what? I have one guilty pleasure in life. I would, yeah, I would say that's like my one guilty pleasure, and that is... Well, that's soda. <laughs> Aside from that, I eat... Uh, well, I would say I eat pretty dang healthy. Well, relatively. <laughs> I don't really eat enough a lot of the times, but... Yeah. 
I used to be underweight, but I'm not underweight anymore, so... Then I don't really feel like I want to... Like, I don't want to gain more weight <laughs> in a certain way. Even though I'm still a pretty scrawny man. But, yeah, no, I don't want to... If I ever want to get more weight, it's from muscles and not from... Not from eating. Only. And yeah, I have a... I, I think everybody has a friend like that, maybe. But I have a friend who's like really into the... Into fitness and... Everything that has to do with it. <laughs> and me, not really. That guy used to be... I guess we used to be pretty dang similar when it comes to... Like when it came to body... Structure or state or whatever the hell you want to call it. Definitely body weight. Like we were, we were around the same wait for some time and he is now pretty freaking beefy <laughs> but he has been like he has been doing his fitness shenanigans since he was 16 years old and he's now uh, 23 years old <laughs> so yeah he definitely deserves it though I feel like he did like he did so much effort to get him there so then I feel like he really does deserve it But I personally don't need it. I gain my muscles from working. Not from fitness. I, I just don't like... The thing is, I don't like the atmosphere of a fitness. I'm just like, no. I don't want to talk about my muscles. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't... Yeah, no. That's not really my objective in life. And to be quite honest, I'm never... Like, I don't think I'm ever going to be a dude. Like, I'm gonna probably do some amount of manual labor, I would say. Like, just a normal amount, I would say. But I'm never gonna be, like, somebody who does heavy labor. Or anything that, like, just anything that is too taxing on my muscles or whatever. That's just not really... I don't really think I'm ever gonna be doing that. Yeah, see you later, shitlord. I hate these enemies. Because they can knock me down. <laughs> and they have done that before. And it's really shitty. Because then you died to a pathetic little creature. And also, I just kind of like the way that I look. I like being scrawny in a certain way. I'm not a skeleton, like, <laughs> if you're wondering. I'm just... I'm just really tall. And... I am... Scrawny. Is that the word? I, I guess scrawny is, is the way that you should... The thing is, the reason why I'm thinking about scrawny is because Barrett calls Cloud scrawny in Final Fantasy. I was like, yeah. <clears throat> I would say that I have kind of... <clears throat> I definitely have, like, the, the the body type of Cloud. Less muscles, of course, but I do definitely have the body type of Cloud. Now, if I were to work on all those muscles, I probably would be able to get the body type of Cloud. <laughs> which would be pretty dang baller, but... Nah, maybe something for later. Like, if I, if I end up in a relationship with somebody who does fitness and all that jazz, sure, then I'll go and do it. But I don't want to do it alone. Doing it alone is doesn't seem like fun. I'd need more motivations to do it anyway. So, and right now there are more important things for me to do than fitness. <laughs> I definitely have more important matters to attend to. <laughs> Should first probably fix the issues in my head, and then fix the issues. Um, <clears throat> well, issues. Then I can just work on the rest. Yeah, no thanks. You're not dead? Jesus. Forgive me. Ma Mama. Ooh. There we go. Destroy the literature, yes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have a newfound appreciation for literature. After playing Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, no, that's wrong. I haven't seen anything of that game in a long ass time. It's a pretty old game, though. Let me go and take a look at something. Alright. There we go.
See you later. The thing I am noticing right now is that I'm like... I can feel myself getting... Getting to the point where my voice is going to start to not be too happy. So I'm pretty happy that I'm almost done with this. <laughs> I do think that this is something that I'm going to be... Really paying more attention to, and that is like to... Not strain my voice too much. Are you still following me? No. No. Ow. no? Oh. Well, he's gone. It's gonna come running. No. 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 Get over here. Okay. You're not dead? Fuck you for not dying. <laughs> Why did I even heal that? No. Who cares? I missed. Spin to win! Well, it's not a real spin to win it, but... God. <laughs> and the dog fell down. I think I'll just ignore him. Let's go wait for him to shoot his arrow. Sacred arrow! <laughs> Sacred tunnel! Best one. Avatar is just like Avatar: The Last Airbender. It's just an amazing animated show. You should watch it if you haven't already. It's very interesting that there's like a lot of not a lot. I feel like this is something with like all shows that are a little bit more aimed towards children, I suppose. Where there's a lot of new windows in them and all that jazz, which are fun. <laughs> Fun to explore as a grown-up. And it's also still... Like, this is something that I actually really like. When when shows make it so that the child that watches them... Like, if it, if it is geared towards children... That they make it so that when a child watches it, they're very interested. And that they also make it so that when the parents have to watch together with them... The, the parents also notice some things. Like, or think it it's good or whatever. I really like that. I just remember a couple of shows where my parents were were also interested in watching it a little bit. Like they would, like when I was watching it, they would also watch it with me, which was a special experience for me because <laughs> I gotta say, in my youth, it was a lot of times it was just me, myself, and I. <laughs> really, you gotta be kidding me! Now. Wait, uh, 12 Estes. Ugh, this is free, though. I don't want to deal with free with low Estes. I wonder where he appeared, though. Did he appear upstairs, or... Yes, I could go into Freed's boss battle, but... Ugh, I don't want to. There he is, fucking finally. Hello, friend. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh... That was interesting. Indeed. Yes. Attack me. Senpai. Oh boy. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. That was... That was... That was good. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, 47,000 souls. Don't care. Right, let's go and deal with Freed now. Finally. Ugh. <sighs> I guess the guy liked it that I didn't just give up or whatever. Or didn't. Why am I here? Fucking hell. I don't want to be here. That guy was good though. He knew what he was doing. <laughs> or at least I, that felt like it in any case. Let me go use an ember to go and... Just in case. Because, uh, Freed can... Do a lot of damage. If she wants to. Alright, buddy. It's time to wake up, mother... Okay. Alright. Uh, 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 that's pretty dang decent. Ooh. Fighting Freed with a halberd is pretty dang good. Ow. <laughs> he says he proceeds to get hit. 
Well, yeah, getting hit and hitting, like, getting hit and hitting the enemy is actually a pretty, like, has, uh, there's quite, there's quite some difference there. Uh, huh. I pressed a button, by the way. I just pressed it, like, I think at that point, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I pressed it, like, milliseconds too late. I pressed it milliseconds too late, right there. Ah, oh, Frida. Why did I decide to continue going? <laughs> I should have stopped. <laughs> no, Frida's just annoying. Kind of. Frida's just difficult, man. It's not even about annoying, Frida's just fucking difficult. She does so much damage. She's difficult to hit. In general, annoying to fight. I would say has a lot of annoying moves. Like that one. Okay, so I need to back off with that one. Good to know. Ah, crap. I was hoping she would attack. Ah, that was it. Then uh. she leaves. Let's go and do this. Let's go and do a charge attack and fucking miss. Okay, then. I'm gonna die again. I should not try to parry. That's just in general a bad idea for me. Wow. That's pretty good. This weapon, like, a halberd is pretty dang good to keep attacking free, though, as you can see. Because of the range that you have, and the fact that the second attack is a swipe, or like a sweep. Yeah, this weapon's really good. For free. See ya. My god, those feet, Jesus. <laughs> A whole lot of feet. Alright, Audion, though. I guess you're gonna. You're gonna use your flamethrower attack. Go move out of the way so I don't get hit by the shockwave from that frostbite attack. Freed, get your ass away from me. Now watch out. You son of a bitch. Oh boy. Can I please stun you? And here comes the shockwave. And roll. I see. Come on. You're probably pretty dang close to getting stunned, but now you're gonna empty out your soup bowl and yeah. Doesn't matter, you know. Let me go use my ember just because I want it. And while I'm at it, I don't use this thing for anything else anyway. Let's go and use this to cure my frostbite. Let's get rid of the shield, I don't need it. <laughs> Alright. Oh lord! Oh! oh. <laughs> Uh, commentary natural. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Some people might think that this is an entirely different video. <laughs> A different type of video. Ouch. Okay. Papa -pa poise. There we go. We go and heal up. Because this is free. Oh man, the combo, co the combo potential. Wow, no, the combo potential with this weapon against Freed specifically is pretty dang good. We are done. Nice. Man, it was really stupid of me to die in the early part. Yeah, well. Shit happens. Yes. No, fuck. Especially when you. <laughs> 
Oh, that sucks. Mm. Especially when you uh, when you're fighting Freed, because Freed is interesting. <laughs> that was freaking wrong. Let's go back to the shrine. So I can level up and end up my episode. Next episode, we're gonna go. We can go make our way. Basically, through the entirety of the Ring City DLC. Probably. We're also going to be able to get the Split Leaf Greatsword. Which is interesting. Uh, I am wondering something now. I don't have another heavy gem, do I? No. Kinda need another heavy gem. I'll go and get that off camera. So, people, I hope you enjoyed this episode of just us playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon placers, and next episode we're going to go and deal with... Well, yeah, just about the entirety of uh, the Ring City. <laughs> Goodbye.